Now that the FDM is back on the road, I just did some minor suspension adjustment because I want to get ready for a test and tune event coming up this week. So I want to do last minute drift preparations. This is not really a drift preparation, but I just really wanted windows on the car. So that's what we're doing right here. Not professional, but hey, it'll do. Uh, not too bad. Just trim the edges a little bit, but you know what? A little tack and some silicone. Oh, we got some working windows. Now we got the drift car backed up. Uh, let's see how these let's see how these look. Oh, it's not too bad. We should just drill some holes and then we're done. Honestly, I love not worrying about it being perfect. Just hey, if it works, it works. You know, that's all that matters. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's a drift car. That's all. Let's go. Oh no, this is a problem. So uh, yeah, it cracked right there. So this thing is practically useless now. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to think differently when it comes comes to this window. I need to do uh, I need to do something differently. Um, unfortunately, I already cut that other piece already, so I just gotta be very careful. Man, that sucks. So we're not running windows for a while at the track. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a nice day, so I'm not. Hopefully, it's well. Hopefully, it's a nice day. <laughs> oh well. Mistake was that I should have heated up the plexiglass so it could mold. The reason why it cracked right there it's because there's a lot of tension that's what i should have done so but uh, you know i have to go get more plexiglass for that but lesson learned lesson learned after my terrible attempt putting windows on the rear i packed up the drift car picked up my girlfriend and we were on our way to gld on my way to gld i was gonna meet up with tim tim actually saw my tiktok about my window situation and he offered to give me his prototype that he made and he told me because they were not good and he said, if I wanted them. After we arrived at GLD that Sunday, I met up with Tim and we finally got some windows for the FDM. Huge shout out to my boy, Tim. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much for giving me these awesome windows. Hey, baby girl. So we're early at the track. I think we're about at least 45, 30 minutes early. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's mad that I woke her up. I'm so, I'm so sorry, by the way. Fish bowl. Yeah, it's fish bowl. It's fishbowl. So here's a cool thing I've never seen before at the track here. There is a yard sale. It's not a yard sale. It's a yard sale. Look, that's so cool. This is like this is really, really cool. Don't don't if you don't mind, I'm gonna record. I've never seen this before. This is like it's like oh, like it's truly great. like you got a whole Evo bumper and everything, dude. You got the three fifty Z the free the three fifty Z bumper is for sure gonna come in handy. You're gonna be like, bumper gonna come on, be like, yo, I got a bumper right here, bro. Oh, dude, they got a whole GTR bumper. Man, you guys got honestly, a, you got a whole turbo. Yeah, so all we do is buy Japanese sports cars and port them out. Dude, so look at that. OEM parts and aftermarket parts. I asked, I, I, I was it's like, hard to get some of this stuff. You know? it, I, I feel, I true that. You got the coilovers already. Yeah. You guys, dude, you guys are all. Yeah, come set. back when we everything's set up. Dude, we'll, for we'll sure. Ooh, <laughs> they got a whole. Gonna swap a. Hey, you want a K swap? Right now? Bro, you ever seen this bubble? I've never seen a. Bro, listen, I have never seen, like, oh, you want wheels and shit, like, right away, like, on the spot? Like, dude, that's so cool. That's like a Drift HQ thing. So, this is my boy, Ross. And he's got the, how, you never answered my question, how much horsepower are you putting on the S13? Uh, with or without spray? With spray. Like, give me the whole, the whole bananas. With spray, it makes, like, 389 wheel torque and, like, 375 wheel horsepower. He's lying. He's lying. You're lying, bro. Be bro, nah, nah, bro. You, you lie. VQ, by the way. VQ, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's a stock VQ with, like, an intake and an exhaust. That's it. Tuned and everything? Yeah. Oh, shoot. At least you're doing it right. You're not just, like, spraying the bottle. Be like, oh, let's go, bro. Let's go. Yeah. It's a wet <laughs> shot, so I could on a small shot, but not on a 125 How, shot. What's, so, wait, what's your shot rating right now? Like, 125. Damn, no.
After run after run, start to realize that what I've done to the control arm did not fix the problem at all. So, the rest of the day, I try to drift the best as I can with the condition of the FDM. This is the closest good run I had. Unfortunately, the one clean run I did, I wasn't recording. This is the cleanest run I had the day recorded. Even though the FDM wasn't counter steering and not performing the way I wanted to, I was still proud of myself for not giving up. The feeling is so rewarding when the drift car was on jack stands and now at the track, drifting. Sort of. But you know what, that's trial and error, but the whole point is I never gave up. And coming back here and meeting everybody again was such a refreshing feeling. Other than the counter steering, the car performed magically. All the fixes I've made other than the control arm performed fantastic. The other thing I really missed about drift events is the atmosphere and the people around here. There's a whole, these guys got a whole part shop out here. You guys got spacers, blow up valves, suspension intake. You got a whole K swap, GTR, Z bumpers, differentials. Dude, y'all got everything, bro. Oh, shoot, is that a sticker? Yeah. Oh, let's go, let's go. Dude, you guys got. Everything shift knobs for days. Yo, a KT and a humongous turbo. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yo, oh, what happened? What happened? Broke the knuckle, but yo, VQ swap. Oh, we got a beamer. And look at this. We got a Mustang. Uh oh, uh oh. What's wrong? What's wrong with the Mustang? We're just doing a little toe alignment. A little alignment. A little alignment, you know. A little eyeball alignment. A little eyeball alignment. You don't see these every day. Why is it on the trailer? Uh, I feel cut. It died. No! No bumper! I love it! No bumper! Let's go! What we have here? Is this my boy Kurt? My boy Kurt? How you doing? Oh, the dash! Oh, yeah. The green! The greens. Well, well, well. Isn't this Mr. Oh! Was that nitrous? No, it's my airbag. Oh, your airbag, your air ride, right? Yeah, yeah, not nitrous. You know, I'm not running 125 shot. Nah, nah, nah. Damn, this is clean. <laughs> what happened here? What? Oh, whoa, whoa. What happened here? It's all gone. All gone. Oh, yeah, hey, appreciate. It. Thank you for, um, thank you for getting me my pizza. You guys, man, Domino's yes, out here, real MVP. Here. Thank you. What is a Nesmo doing here? This car is too clean, bro. The car, the car's too clean. You do you daily this? I, I do. And you're gonna drift this? I do drift it too. <laughs> and it's my boy. Is this the Coda Bill, my drift teammate, bro? In the daily. In the daily. Already gone, bro. Gone. Oh, it's my boy Scott, bro. Always, this man always got the new whip, bro. Always something new, dude. Oh, look at that. No, no, you gotta be in there. You gotta be in there. Look who, look who is, look at who is everybody. Seeing the car in person, clean. After being reacquainted and meeting new friends, I took the drift car one more time and then this happened. I blew my wastegate line. I don't have any footages of it happening other than my buddy Royce got the very end of it when the line blew. You might not see anything different, but my needle for my boost gauge hit to 20 pounds. I am regulated by spring pressure by 10, and having 20 pounds unexpectedly could seriously damage your engine. So what to do next? With the FDM technically out of commission, I thought this was a perfect checkpoint to call the day. 
Even though changing out the vacuum line is very easy, I did not want to keep driving the FDM the way it is. My theory is that why the FDM is still driving weird is that it needs more caster in the driver's sides. Since it wasn't an accident, the frame is a little bit damaged, so it needs more caster to compensate for that original point. What this would do, by giving it more positive caster on the driver's side to compensate, it would make the drift car drift again. <laughs> And this is where my buddy Thrace comes in. Cool fact, him and Ross are brothers and they both use a VQ platform based drift car. I met Thrace when we're going getting food in the concession stand at GLD and I mentioned about my problem. And this man told me that he could solve my problem. He actually has spare tension rods that are adjustable casters and he was going to give it to me for free. I was like, you're kidding! He wanted someone else to have a better use than he would because he wasn't using it. Thrace, you're the best! Thank you! So we packed up, went home, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.